Mowing your lawn is exhausting, dirty, and loud. Perimeter wire lawnmower robots take a long time to set up. But here we have the solution Motion GPS and 3D vision guided lawnmower robots. The Yuka, you can have a sweeper and collect grass or leaves. The Luba 2 has all wheel drive for 80% slopes. If you want it lighter, there's the Yuka Mini and the Luba Mini all wheel drive. Use the link in the description to tell Motion I sent you. Hello everyone, it's time for another amazing charging curve and I know everybody finds that extremely boring. I don't and I think it's very important to know how the car charges uh, that you want to buy or that you have, that you know what you have to do with it. It's an important part, the same as range. But that's just my opinion. <laughs> Today we have the BYD Seal and this is the all-wheel drive excellent version but I'm pretty sure that the normal rear-wheel drive version has the same uh, battery. 82 uh, and a half kilowatt hours can be used. <clears throat> they call it an 800 volt system. It is not 400, it's around 60. 600 volt and it's okay and the charging curve that I filmed was right after 130 kilometers an hour range test and the curve that I got and what I filmed from Ionity is really really bad. Um, when I looked at the data what the car should do it should be better. It was a very warm day it was uh, 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 around 30 degrees after my 130 kilometers an hour range test. I didn't power it I drove constant 130 and then I plugged in at 8% and I got the peak the 150 kilowatt that the car can do but then it, after that it was really bad and when I did my long distance test I saw I, I plugged in once at 20 five percent or something and I got also 150 kilowatt but then a step down to 130 which I didn't get here and then I, the, the next session was 13 percent where I plugged in and I also didn't get the same uh, thing that we see here so I don't know if this was too hot for the battery and the cooling couldn't get a, uh, uh, ahead of that hotness or it's just because I plugged in at 8% and this is what you get. No idea. But here's my Ionity screen. As always, communication error at the first uh, time plugging in. 9%. I get the 149 kilowatt, 150. But there, at 17%, we already go down to 100 kilowatt. And when you look at the voltage, typical LFP battery, LFP battery, it goes up to 600 something volt, goes back down, goes up, goes back down. The voltage is very bad. Here we already go down to 90 kilowatt, then 70 kilowatt at 38%. But it goes up to 74 and it stays now at that 74 kilowatt for a very long time. Uh, when you plug this car in at 80 or 90 percent you still get 40 50 kilowatt which is okay. Um, the state of charge is not perfect. When I did my range test I plugged in at 96 percent. I charged for a few minutes the state of charge didn't change and then suddenly it jumped to 99 percent and then it was done at 100 percent. So it's not but it's also hard. Let's see, look at the voltage. It jumped now down to 593 volt. Now it goes back up again to the 600 volt. We're now at 60 percent, a 60 kilowatt at 70 percent. And then I only charge to 80 percent because look at the time, 46 minutes. That's a bit long. <laughs> So let's look at the curve and I put it here and you can see very well those steps 150 kilowatt, 100 kilowatt, a bit up, 90 kilowatt, a bit up, 70 kilowatt, a bit up, 60 kilowatt and a bit up here at the end. It's just the steps look like they're programmed in. This is not something that has to do with the charger or something. But again, it was 30 degrees. Maybe the cooling said it's we're too warm. Let's not do this. But I didn't power the car before. This I would get. And the time that I had from 10 to 80% was 47 minutes. That's very, very long. Even my old ID3 who charged with 100 kilowatt for... 5% on the bottom uh, didn't take 47 minutes. It took an hour, I think, from 10 to 100% or so. Um, 
but it was also way smaller battery. That's also important. This is 82 kilowatt hours. So the charging curve, if this would be the charging curve of the car, again, in my range test, I saw 150 kilowatt and then down to 130 for a bit and then 100 and then like this. But also on my second charging, um, when I did it at 13%, I got 150 and then very soon it went down to 70 kilowatt as well, but then again up to 90 kilowatt. So it's really weird. I don't think you can say this is how the charging curve is. I'm not going to compare this to any other car because again, I don't have a car that can charge with 150 kilowatt or 100 kilowatt, but takes 47 minutes from 10 to 80 percent. Um, I have the very old ones like the i3, the old one with a charge or the, the Renault Zoe, the charge with 50 kilowatt or something. Um, and especially not a battery with 82 kilowatt hours that charges like did this. So, and LFP. <laughs> um, I haven't tested so many, L um, did I even? Was the Neo ET5 LFP? Maybe I did, I don't know if I did a charging test. I think so. Um, so it is an interesting curve and um, if this is like this, it's not very good. And that's, like I said, that's why I don't want to compare it to other car because it would be just mean. <laughs> um, I think that the curve depends when you plug in. And what I've seen in the long distance test is, it doesn't matter if I plug in at 9%, 13 or 25, I get 150 kilowatt for a short time. So maybe it's like the, the Kia EV6 or the Hyundai Ioniq 5 where you get a lot of power, but you can don't have to plug in at a very low state of charge. So maybe it's that, I don't know. But this is bad. <laughs> I'm sorry. If this curve would be the normal thing, that's, that's not good. If you plug in at 9% in the summer and you get this 47 minutes to 80%. And then yes, it's not an amazing thirsty car. It's not extremely efficient, but it's okay. And then uh, I don't think you need to charge to 80%, but I charged to 64% from 13%, for example, and my average power was 100 kilowatts. So again, I got the 150 kilowatt, but then it went down and the, the average was uh, 100 kilowatt, which nowadays is not amazing. But if you have the time and money is so important to you that uh, you want to save money on an electric car, I talked about what I like and don't like uh, in, uh, about this car in a different video and overall how, how it is. And it's a bit weird and it's missing a lot of things and does things that are weird. Um, um, but it's a bit cheaper than other cars. So if this is the main thing, then also charging won't concern you as well. That's. But it's very interesting to see for me when you look at an LFP battery with the voltage because it's just totally different to any other car that I have tested. So except for the MG4, maybe the Neo ET5 and this car, all the other uh, batteries were the, what is it, nickel, cadmium, whatever, N, whatever, <laughs> not LFP. And there the state of charge goes up, the voltage goes up. And here LFP is just different. Voltage goes up, goes down goes up, goes down. It's just totally weird and that's why state of charge calculation is so bad, uh, so so difficult, this is the right word, and that's why you, but they like being charged to 100% and you should do that and this car does, didn't even have uh, a charge limit, so you always charge to 100%. If you want to follow me on Instagram, life one and if you want to support the channel, there's a Patreon link in the description below. And here on YouTube, there's also channel membership. And if you want to know what's happening behind the scenes, I have a third YouTube channel behind the battery. But that's it for me. Thank you much for watching. Have a great day and take care. Bye.